Okay, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be looking at the recently buffed OG OG exotic auto rifle. This has been in the game since Destiny 1, like right at the beginning. Of course, it's the Suros Regime. Um, we're playing Dawnblade, but we'll go through all the build stuff in a second. First, let's get into the Suros. So it has Hammer Forged Rifling, increasing the range. Tactical Mag, uh, Stability, Reload Speed, and Mag Size, which is really nice. Uh, and then it has either spinning up, holding down the trigger increases rate of fire, or dual speed receiver. When aiming down sights, weapon rate of fire slows while weapon damage increases. Uh, it also has hand laid stock. So we're going to be running dual speed receiver because that is the thing that actually recently got buffed in the TWAB. First regime, dual speed receiver mode now grants the following in addition to its current effects. Plus 30 range when you're ADSing and plus 3 zoom. Zoom also just directly impacts range so... This, this range buff is actually kind of nuts. 30 range and 3 zoom. That makes a big, big difference. Um, the Soros Exotic Intrinsic Perk is Soros Legacy. The bottom half of each magazine deals bonus damage and has a chance to return health on kill. Uh, as far as the catalyst goes, it increases your chance. You, you'll get health regen procs on like most kills, I believe. But I don't have that. So we're actually being productive while we record this video because we're working towards a catalyst whilst getting that sweet, sweet content. Um, we're going to be playing Top Tree Dawn, Solo Grenade, Healing Rift, Burst Glide, Top Tree Dawn, Aphidian Aspects, we've got all Auto Rifle mods. We do have Taking Charge and High Energy Fire, and obviously because my Soros does not have the Catalyst, it's not Masterwork, so we can't make orbs for Taking Charge. So that kind of sucks, but I'm sure we'll find orbs around the map, maybe we'll get some two pieces with a shotgun, or whatever. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm really excited to try this out, see how good the buff is. And uh, I wanted to quickly mention, I have slightly bumped my game audio up because I saw a couple comments rolling in that my game audio is too low in my recordings. Uh, it's probably going to be a slightly shorter video because I realized all my videos I record like on all three characters, they end up stretching to like 20 minutes, which just isn't really an ideal length for a YouTube video. So what I want to try, at least for today, is to try to get one banger gameplay and then give you that. And then please do let me know in the comments which you prefer. And let's get into it. All right, this isn't sure. This should actually be a pretty good map for the Soros, seeing as we're using like a long range auto rifle. It's a pretty long range map. I'm actually pretty happy with this map. Easy little laser. Zone C captured. Enemy claimed zone A. Is there someone else back here I saw? Maybe you already crossed. And this thing kind of melt in. Oh my god, I wasn't even hitting crit there. He died really fast. Okay, promising start. Curious to see what the, like, damage step up is when he gets the second half of the mag. It has, like, glass half full from Destiny 1. Nice. The crits are really important. Body shot damage is not, is not looking too hot in this thing. Jumping already? No, he's not. He gave me time. We have a rift. He knows we have a rift. I don't really know why he's consistently peeking, but... And with a shotgun to stop his regen, so he's still going to be really low. We got him with the hip fire. The RPM feels so different. That's kind of weird. He's so low. What can stop you if you fight oh my goodness. Alright, this thing kind of gunning. I want to test the range out more though. I feel like all the, the like actual Zeros auto rifle fights we're getting have been pretty close range. No way, dude. I thought I could float and he'd push, but he just backed up after that Wither Horde shot. Maybe I would get the Zeros perk to proc, but I don't have the catalyst. It's not really something I should be relying on too much. I saw an orb there. I want to get charged with light and see how much this does. Oh my goodness, okay. Is there another orb somewhere? No, I don't think so. Let's pop there. Hi. Hmm, I'm just gonna hide. Oh no, did I run out and take full damage to that? That is so unfortunate. What? He didn't die? Clean up. That's why we have fire team. 
Oh, pretty awkward to track there, but we got it. Just about. Looked a little bit shaky, but we got it done. Made this. Go up out and be. Nice. I think they're all dead. Push across. Damn, that team's actually winning. Oh, felt like my team was popping off. I don't know. Oh, really bad shots on my part. I'm gonna push. Let's get behind this box. Get in the rift. Oh, man. I fucking lifted my mouse up too high, so I couldn't swipe left. I should have just shot straight away. I would have killed that guy and had a rift to play off. Yeah, if anyone knows in the comment section what the optimal time to kill is, please do let me know, because I feel like this is... It's killing pretty fast. Oh my goodness. Oh, we triple cap. No. That guy has a rocket, so we're going to back away. Can we get shot to light off this? Holy shit. Oh, I'm getting checked by a Nova Bomb. Oh, we're alive. No way. The swarm grenade tracked me. Your enemy can't kill Damn, dead. we can give our teammate alive because I had to reposition. Oh my goodness, we're starting to hit the crits now. Maybe he repeaks, thinking we're low, but we actually have a rift. Nah, he went for the cap. Smart play. Made this pillar. No way, man. Why? Nice. Slide for slide shot. And we'll reload the Suros. Slide again. Somebody near B now. Gonna push. We might have to pop here. Yeah, we're gonna pop. Way that I hit that top archway, that's super unfortunate. No one spawning out here? Damn, I messed this up then. Maybe there's someone spawning in C. No. Not my best super. Rift this, maybe he pushes. Got him just about. Got me low enough that a body shot would have done some real damage though. Nice. I'm back. Zone B lost. All right, we can get this comeback for sure. 118 to 125, I believe. Damn, that's actually unfortunate though. But he doesn't know I have the sword. So if he tries to push, he is getting sliced. Maybe we do it anyway. Oh, I'm dead. One minute left. Let them Mine hit with some movement. Back up more. Cause this guy's going to be aping with a shotgun. And mind, left. Nice. We've got the comeback. 126, 126. He re because he's not actually that low. Oh, that guy's thorn perk. Thankfully, he was missing. Because that would have absolutely lasered me with a two tap. Nice. Alright, we're actually popping off now, starting to feel it. If I get a wide angle, we can really test the range out if there's someone spawning. Don't see anyone. Okay, we're dead hit. I didn't see anyone when I first peeked it, but there actually was one back there. Super unfortunate. But yeah, fun game. This gun this gun feels nice. Good Suros buff. Because I feel like everyone used spinning up before. Nobody really used this alternate firing mode, but it's cool. I definitely want to grind out the catalyst and see how much more consistently the health regen progress. We got a 51 defeat game. First game, 5.1, so 51 and 10. Really, really good. All right, so I know I said in the intro we were just going to do one gameplay, but I felt like once it was, like, edited down and trimmed down a bit, it would have been really short. So we are going to play a second game. We're just going to stay on Dawnblade and just see if we can get a little bit more gameplay. Uh, I'm only playing one more game, so I doubt we top that 50 bomb, but I thought eh, it would be a pretty short video. Uh, we also swapped over to Firebolts because I want to see if I can just float a bunch. But I need to remember that my grenades aren't that good, but I can heat rise a lot. There it is. 
Nice, that guy died. That was probably full health by now. What did he just nade? I think he misclicked. There's no way that was an intentional nade. I got your teammate. Nice. Alright, they are on A already. That's a quick spawn flip. There it is. Straight crits. I feel a little bit more warmed up now as well, so hopefully we can just kind of gun some people. I saw someone moving here. I don't know if it was a teammate or not. I just saw it out of the corner of my eye. Sliding for slide shot. No, I couldn't hit him. Oh, we're 25 to 5, so it's looking like a heart mercy. So there's a death. That was really dumb of me. Kept him low. So kill him. I'll get to safety. Definitely disengage here, but it is quick play, so I kind of want to fight. I'm dead. My shots. Oh, it's a good angle. No, of course I picked the guy that has the worm husk on for the first target. Nice. He didn't shoot me as I was crossing back, so we could take another fight. That's nice, man. <clears throat> Alright, so please do let me know if you like if you'd prefer the videos to be like this or you want the long ones. I know like 20 minutes is actually quite a lot of time out of someone's day just to watch a video, so kind of be more like aware of that, I guess. If you guys prefer the longer videos too, we can do that. Whatever works. I shot some that guy. I really, really wish I had the catalyst just so I could see how consistently it procced. I think with, is it Crimson that makes it do it literally every time when you have the catalyst? That seems like a really helpful perk. And Crimson also shreds up close. In fact, you know what? I don't think I've ever done a Crimson video. That could be pretty fun. No, I got shot from the right. I was not in the middle right now. That is really long range, even for the Soros. No way he pushes this. He rifted. Oh. Yeah, get him. Fuck that guy in particular. Go ram. What? Oh, laggy. Makes more sense. My shotgun wouldn't shoot. Please. I went for the hip fire there because I figured the faster fire rate might help, but I was just really awkward either way. I don't think I don't think I can really justify using. Did I kill the? No, I left him one shot. I don't think I can really justify using fireballs over solar grenades. I feel like solar grenade. I know the cooldown is significantly shorter, but solar grenades are just so much better in every way. But I guess if, like, your main goal is to just float, One minute. Won't be then I, I mean, I guess th there's definitely a build for it somewhere. Maybe you run a... Honestly, you could run fusion grenades and the Starfire chest piece if you just want to float all the time. I don't think firebots are really worth it. Nice. GG. Not, definitely not as much as the, uh, not as many defeats as the first game. But like I said, I just wanted to play one extra one because I felt like the video would have been a little bit too short. Um, but we still dropped a 30 bomb, not a bad game. Uh, 2.4 efficiency, so a lot more deaths, but yeah, pretty fun. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. I actually really, really enjoyed it. I can't remember what the catalyst was at at the start, but we are now uh, at 100 out of 300. So as you can see, I really didn't play many games. Uh, this thing just, you know, we, we got a nice gameplay early and then I played one extra to, to pad the video out a bit. But yeah, this thing felt really good. Uh, it's hard for me to say how significant the buff was because I didn't really use it much before the buff hence why i don't have the catalyst completed but i don't know i feel like what was it 30 range and 0.3 zoom or 3 zoom 3 zoom i think it was um those seem like pretty significant buffs and the range did feel good when i was adsing it i was challenging from far far away in like pulse rifle range um so yeah pretty impressed it's nice to see that one of the ogs is still competing obviously you got last one and thorn still holding their own but uh yeah Really, really enjoyed using the Soros. Please let me know what you want to see next. Uh, halfway through the Bannerfall game, I had the idea of maybe trying the Crimson out, if you'd like to see that. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.